Hi, do you want to perform live with Bitwig Studio? Then I can't recommend enough using Project Remotes. Project Remotes is a great way to uh, be able to control basically any type of parameter in Bitwig Studio from a single remote uh, control page. And uh, that in combination with using uh, clip launching is gonna be the perfect way to perform with Bitwig Studio. It's quite easy to set up, so let's just dive in here and uh, let's take a look at how you can work with Project Remotes. Let's take the tour. Okay, before we get started, make sure to say hi in the comments and let me know what kind of music you make and uh, what kind of uh, content you'd like to see here on this uh, Bitwig channel. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these uh, upcoming videos. A lot of people watch my videos, but not a lot of people are subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscription button and thanks. Okay, so here we have a product with uh, quite a few tracks. We have a drum group at the top here, we have a bass track, some pad tracks, uh, vocal samples and whatnot, and yeah, some instruments from Serum 2 and Zebra 2. And uh, if we pay attention here to the bottom area, the device area of Bitwig, you can see we have a, a little tab here called Project. And that's uh, where you'll find the product remotes. And uh, no matter what kind of tracks we activate in our arrangement, as you can see, if you look in this uh, device panel, we always have access to that uh, product remote tab. So just expand that and you will have access to your global remote. So you can see even if I select like the bass track of this track or this song, we have access to those uh, predefined uh, or my defined set of uh, product remotes. And of course, similarly to your regular macros, you also have access to different pages. So you can just press this little small arrow and expand. And here we can see I have two different pages set up. We have the performance page and page two. Now we can of course also change the name of these, but uh, let's just uh, see what we can do here first with the product remote. So we're gonna play back this little arrangement and uh, do a little bit of fiddling here with the product remotes. And then we'll dive into how you can set up a product remote yourself. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see, you can do a lot of like a performance uh, stuff here with a single control. And uh, like I said, no matter what kind of tracks we activate here in our arrangement, we always have those, uh, those uh, product remotes accessible. Next up, let's uh, take a look at how we build our own custom product remotes setup. So uh, when we create a new product and uh, basically have a clean slate. If you um, open up the product remotes, uh, it's gonna look like this uh, empty page with just a plus sign in the middle. Press the plus sign there to activate and create our first remote control. But uh, if we already have a product <laughs> remote setup, like in this arrangement, we can always just uh, press this little open page menu button and press add new page. And that's uh, gonna create a new empty page for our product remotes and we can uh, attach uh, or map these uh, product remotes to any type of parameter. So first out, per your request, we're gonna go here into our drum group and we're gonna map the first control to uh, the volume of the drum group. So just uh, press that parameter and we can see it reads the volume. And we can of course rename this so it's gonna be more visual to what kind of control this parameter actually works with. So just double click and we can rename that to drum vol, drum volume. And we can see uh, when we map the first parameter, the next the parameter is gonna be active for mapping. So maybe map the mute button here of the drum group so we can mute the drums. Again, we double click to rename this to drum mute or just the demute, maybe it's less letters. And we're also gonna map uh, the volume for the bass and maybe the volume for the gated pad and also the vocal sample volume and maybe also mute uh, this uh, Serum 2 melody track. And to deactivate we can either press escape or press this uh, the same mapping button that's active. So now we have a couple of remotes here, our product remotes. 
And again, don't uh, forget to rename these parameters because uh, volume all over the place is not going to really tell what kind of track this is controlling. Yeah, so we can see it changes the base volume, but let's just name it base V. And the next one here is the gated pad, so pad V. And the next one here is the vocal sample, so voc V. And this one is the mute for the melody. Melody or piano mute. Now that I'm thinking of it, maybe it should have been like an automatic naming convention or something that maybe we take the three first letters from the track and then a space and then vol for every track that you map that's attached to volume so we can get an automatic naming. Let me know in the comments what you think. Just a thought here for the Bitwig developers. Yeah, so now we can just play back the track and we can use these product remotes to perform. So Product Remote is super easy to set up and you can see it's really powerful for performance. And if you have something like uh, the rotor control, which we've been looking at uh, in some previous videos here, you can also use this with uh, Product Remotes. Now in the latest firmware they did somehow manage to remove Product Remotes, but uh, I've been told from uh, the support that they're going to re-implement the Product Remotes into the firmware of the rotor control because uh, that's a feature that, that are really enjoyed and it's like one of those features also in uh, the machine plus where you can access uh, or set up uh, macros to control different parameters and and work with the macro pages so it's really really great for for performance now speaking of the rotor control you can see there's two uh, inputs here for usb-c inputs and uh, one of these is for powering the rotor control and the other one is for connecting to the computer and um, I somehow forgot to attach the power supply to the rotor control. And uh, while it does work with uh, the USB power, it still needs uh, the extra use from the power adapter in order for the touch capacitors or the touch sensitivity knobs here to work correctly. So if you somehow, like me, don't uh, get the touch sensitivity to work with uh, the knobs, make sure you connect that extra power. But uh, I really enjoy working with the rotor control. It's excellent for performing with uh, something like uh, Bitwig Studio or uh, Ableton Live. Okay, so what about reordering the product remotes? That's also very easy. Just go into the product remotes menu and select the open remote controls editor. And uh, here we can see all the different pages we have. We have the perform page, page two and page three. And you can of course also rename these to something else. Just double tap. Let's uh, rename this to final page. In order to move one of these uh, parameters, just uh, click the parameter and drag like so. So that's also very convenient if you need to move this to make it more intuitive to work with these product remotes. And when you're finished, you can always just uh, close this window. Okay, so I think that's uh, all about uh, the product remotes for today. It's getting really hot in here and uh, the fan on my camera here is going wild. So we're going to finish for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, feedback. See you in the next clip. Let's uh, finish this off uh, by a little performance using the product remotes and some piano playing. See you in the next one. Bye.